for all you guys that and whoever that uh, have not experienced demons and Satan yet. I'm sure you will if we're not taken out of here real soon, which I believe we're at the door. It's already that time. But I'm going to tell you something. For those that are in Christ and who have stood up just to carry that banner, that cross, to carry that cross and to, and to profess the word of God who have become born again, true body of Christ, you're going to be tried. Satan is going to try you and he's going to come at you with things that you you have no idea. You have no idea some of the stuff that he does. But I'm I'm going to tell you a couple things that things that I've been through personally that uh just to try to shed some light on things so that you're prepared. Satan <clears throat> one of the things he uses is he has a I don't know, a hundred weapons in his arsenal. But one thing, you know, is mental. He comes at you, you know, you'll have all these lustful thoughts and crazy thoughts. It'll just stuff, try to get you to trip and to stumble and to fall back into the sin that you were once in. That usually doesn't work because Christ, he, you're a new creature in Christ, born again. You're not... You're no longer in bondage to sin. So if you're not in bondage, you're not a slave. If you're not a slave, it has no power over you. You just tell it to get out of here. Some of you may, you know, every once in a while stumble. But just repent. Ask Jesus to, to help you and he'll help you. But there's other things that happen. He, okay, he sends in women. I don't know if you know what a honey trap is. A honey trap is, and men too for you women, but... Speaking of women, he uses what's called the honey trap. Honey trap is a woman who looks good, who who the enemy studies you. They know exactly who you are, what type of person you are, what things you like and your interests are. They will basically put together a woman that is exactly what you want. Exactly what you want. I mean exactly. Be your best friend, your sidekick, everything you could possibly dream of. But it's packed full of demons. They'll send it right in. This person will come in, will, will come in to separate your family, destroy your marriage. Once that's gone, now you think you have this this woman. They will then set up, set you up to fall with your business, with your job, with your fam, with your extended family members, with your friends. Set you up to go to jail. False accusation. I'm talking. There's no stop. To what they do. <clears throat> On top of that, Satan will send in people in business. And a lot of people have gotten into this mind frame, this is straight out of Satan's department, where they say, well, it's just business. I'll do them dirty. You know, um, it's just business. They'll, they, they will destroy another man's business and call it just business. Well, if you don't have integrity in business, you, you belong to the enemy. Period. They'll use them. They'll use all of these things at once. But these are just these are just starters. These are just getting started. When Satan really hits you to try you, <clears throat> not a, those things right there are just automatic. Little things like that, and it can be friends. It cannot just be a woman, but it can be friends or business partners or anything that they send in to try to befriend you, and they will set you up. And most of them are controlled through the Masonic organizations. And that's what they do. And you have spiritual warfare that, that will hit you. You will wake up and all of a sudden nothing is normal. Your heart pounding. Evil stuff. You're gonna, you may see demons. You may see things that you think you're going crazy. Don't be crazy. Don't, get, don't go nuts. Sit down and smile. You belong to Jesus Christ. To that heavenly kingdom. <clears throat> There's nothing that, that Satan can do to overthrow you. You cannot be plucked from Jesus' hands. None. You can't. So when this happens, and I'm telling you now, when this happens, you're going to think that you are insane. Don't fear it. Have a seat. Smile. And know that Satan is doing his best to put fear in you. And you remember that there is no fear in Jesus Christ. None.
None. So when they when this happens to you, and I'm talking this doesn't just happen in ten minutes and gone. You may go through this for a month or two, or three or four, or a week, or who knows, however long it happens, it happens. Just know that wherever you walk, Christ is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Demons are real. They're real. And right now they are rampant all over this earth. Your family members, your preachers, it could be anybody. They, Satan walks around like a lion seeking whom he may devour. He has legions, demon legion. Thousands of demons, <clears throat> and they enter people to do Satan's bidding, to do the bidding of evil. They will come against you for for thousands of years now, a couple thousand years. It's been two thousand plus years since Jesus, and the the church all of a sudden got quiet somewhere in that time and quit talking about Satan, quit talking about demons. All of a sudden, you don't hear nothing about that. Now the churches have become just a a. a, a a nonsense. They, they become a motivational speaking platform. That's all they are. They don't talk about the enemy. They don't address the demons. They don't address fallen angels. These things are real. They are here right now. They have been here for some time. Some time. Get ready. Many of you may be going through stuff you can't understand. Cars acting crazy. Your, your bank account deleted from the bank. You don't know who to blame. Money's missing. Family members going crazy. Your neighbor's coming crazy and setting you up, calling the police on you. You don't even know what you've done wrong. This stuff is from the enemy. They don't worry. It's not like a single, a single attack. Satan uses a plethora of attacks at 50 different angles coming at you. He is trying to chip you, trip you, drop you, push you, make you lose faith. Don't lose faith. In fact, you should anticipate this battle. You should anticipate these attacks, you should know good and well that if you are in Christ, you will be tried by the enemy. By the enemy. Now, God does not test man. But when we walk out away from that light, from God, well, whatever, we put ourselves in harm's way. And when we hold that banner, we hold Jesus Christ up to the world, we also, well, you're rattling the cage of the enemy itself. So they're going to come at you again. Either which way, just know you are the enemy of Satan and that means you're the enemy of the world and so the world being controlled by the prince of the power of the air he has power for real and he's going to use it against you and it's not just little simple sins that's just that's just that's that's playground stuff that it, you I'm talking for real serious attacks <clears throat> where your mind your mind is tested your mind you, I'm telling you now, everyone will call you crazy. Demons are real. Now, they cannot take a Christian. If you're in Christ, they, they cannot take you. So when they come at you and all this crazy stuff begins to happen, put your feet up, call on Jesus, and tell that enemy he's got no chance against you because it's not you he is fighting. He's fighting the King of Kings. Jesus is coming. Just get ready.